Hi there folks and welcome to the Word Solutions for this week's The Daily Rigger issue number 318. So from this, our first story from the horrible world of the cost of living crisis and what's been found this week is that the price of pasta has nearly doubled in two years. So a 500 gram bag of pasta um, was 50p two years ago but it now costs 90% more. So how much does a standard bag of pasta cost now? Well, first things first, we need to work out 90% of 50 pence. So we can find 10% first by dividing by 10, and then 90% is 9 lots of 10%. So that's going to give us 45. And if we add the 50 and the 45 together, that gives us the typical cost for a 500 gram bag of pasta being 95 pence. So it's also been found that the cost of 15 basic food items has risen by £5.34 since 2021. So how much do these 15 basic items cost now? Well, we have to add the £5.34 onto the cost in 2021. So that comes to £21.13. When is this inflation ever going to drop? Well, I'm sure the Daily Rigger will be reporting on that when it happens. Fingers crossed. Anyway... On to our health story. This is quite an interesting one. So statisticians at University in Holland um, have basically concluded that the maximum ceiling lifespan for a female is 115.7 years and for men it's 114.1 years. Slightly lower but still fantastic. So according to the research, how much longer could a female live by a male? So we take them away from each other and that gives us an answer of 1.6 years. But we have to give our answer in years and days. So we need to take the 0.6 of a year and change it into days by multiplying by 365 because there's 365 days in a year. So that comes to 219 days. So given an answer of one year and 219 days. Now in terms of the bonus question, the maximum age that a human has ever lived um, to on record actually flies in the face of this research because the actual answer is 122 years old. That, of course, was Jeanne-Louise Calment um, from France. She actually passed away in 1997. 122 days is the age that she lived to. Absolutely fantastic. Okay, on to the world of sport. Well, I'm not sure if you can call YouTube boxing sport, but anyway... It was the most anticipated eight-round context in boxing history and the fight went to Tyson Fury via split decision. So we want to calculate the score given out by the final judge. We were told that two judges gave scores of 76-73 in favour of Fury. So that means that there was a 76 points awarded, another 73 points awarded by one judge. The other judge awarded another 76 points and another 73 points. So that comes to 298. There was a total of 447 points altogether, so we can take the 298 away from that, and that comes to 149 points, which were awarded by the last judge, where he gave the outcome in favour of Paul by a single point. So what we could do is we could take one off and leave that additional point for now, and we could take the 148 and share it equally between the two boxers, so that's 74 points each. But of course, Paul got one more point than that, so we can use that single point that we took off and add it on to the 74, meaning um, the final judge gave a score of Jake Paul 75 and Tommy Fury 74. Okay, so on to our final story from the world of travel. So we've got a Disneyland fanatic um, visited the theme park for 2,995 days in a row and spent $100,000 altogether during his visits. So on average, how much did he spend per visit? So we need to share the $100,000 between the number of visits. So that's going to come to $33.39, rounding to two decimal places. So in what year did he stop visiting Disneyland every day? So we need to basically see how many years this is. He started in early 2012. If we see how many times 365 goes into 2,995, it comes to 8.205479 dot 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 which is eight and a bit years, but because it was early 2012, um, this is less than half a year, so we know for a fact then that it's going to be um, eight years later. So we can add that eight on to the 2012. So he stopped visiting in 2020, probably because it closed during that COVID pandemic. Yeah. So anyway, folks, that was our What Solutions for this week. We hope you enjoyed solving these problems. Stay tuned for next week's edition when we're going to be looking at more stories from the news of the week and the numbers behind them. But in the meantime, thanks for watching and bye for now.